Hey, welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. Everything in my video can be found on a public domain in the full disclaimers down below. Lots of love and many blessings your way. I'm first going to get Journalist J stuff right up out of the way, so we're going to talk about that real fast. I always appreciate you, Jay. Thank you so much. Making money for Harry and Meghan for any of us is the name of the game, right? They've put together so many different business plans. You know, Archie Well Foundation being one of them. They've talked to some big deal people when it comes to making money. And it just seems like all these rich people always fall back on foundations and charities, calling themselves philanthropists when that's just not the case. This Archwell situation has really blown up in their face so far. If you go to archwellcharity.com, <laughs> they have a note there. People mean business. They really want Harry back home. I don't even know why he has shown who he really is. That's neither here or there. I just wanted to point out the fact that it's just not going as they planned. They're in a bad spot financially. They're trying desperately to make money. And because Megan is such a high-risk liability, nobody in Hollywood wants to even work with her. And even though she has been offered some commercials, she's too good for that. But that's neither here or there. Okay, so we've all said it from the jump. There is something desperately wrong between the two. They never act straight. They never act normal. It was first announced that they were engaged. Allegedly, one of her exes came out saying she was addicted to painkillers and Adderall. Telling how she loved to party and whoop it up. And we all know about Harry's past. Family sent him to rehab. Y'all, when she got married to Trevor Engelson, she passed out goodie bags. And they said that each goodie bag had a joint in it. So they had a blast during her second wedding. In Northern California, they just purchased for $9 million a marijuana farm. And that's legal. I'm not dogging it down. Trust me. I am a marijuana advocate. I would much rather you do that than drink. Her nephew owns a marijuana farm in Oregon. And it's done right by him. I'm all for this marijuana stuff. You know, if it's legal, it's legal. But the hypocrisy involved on their end just gags me. After we all found out that Meghan and Harry were together, do you remember one of the next speeches he gave? And all that speech was was something that Megan had concocted for him to say. And I've always said it from the jump. These people giving these speeches not written by them have no clue what they're saying. Even when they're saying it, you know what I mean? In that speech, he vowed to do things for the young people. He was tired of them playing the addicting video games. Not only were they unhealthy to be involved with, but they were unmotivating to the youth. Now, let me ask you this. Have you ever felt motivated high on weed? People might argue with me, but I'm going to tell you. It takes all motivation away from most people I know who smoke weed. It's like, that's it. It's a wrap. They're going to sit there and they're going to bake it up and snack out. That's all they do. But like I said, I'd much rather see people smoking weed than drinking. That's the truth. But how can Harry and Meghan preach about video games sucking the life out of kids? Video games being addictive and unmotivating. I cannot stand self-righteous hypocrites. I can't. It's all good when a dollar bill's attached to it. You know what I'm saying? Who takes them serious anyway? They're already the laughing stock of the world. Downtown LA, this piece of graffiti is on the wall. And check out the mug on this joker. We're not the only ones that think he's on something. You know what? It boils down to money. That's all. They'll do anything for money. It's all about that money and here's a prime example. Do you guys remember the bushfires last year? It killed all those innocent animals. Well, the firefighters that were responsible for putting it out, they contacted Harry and Meghan and said, look, in honor of your firstborn son, Prince Harry, we would like to dedicate this plane, this life-saving plane to your son. We'd like to title this plane Archie. It's a big 737 air tanker responsible for saving lives. Harry and Meghan said no. You won't be calling it Archie. Thanks, but no thanks. However, think about this. I personally believe if they would have approached them with a couple million dollar check in their hand, not only would his name be on the plane, but I believe his face would be too. It's all about money. Anything. They'll do anything for a dollar bill. And she's agreed to do a tell-all in a book in a sit down for a million dollars. She's gonna tell everything she knows on the royal family. Who didn't see that coming? Allegedly, she's gonna donate the proceeds to a charity. Oh, come on. Why would she put her neck on the line and give that money away? That makes no sense to me. 
I'm calling BS. And people want Harry back there? Why would you? If this is how he treats his family, man, I'd hate to be his enemy. That's major backbiting right there. And I don't agree with the royal family. I'm not a fan at all. Someone made a comment on one of my exposing videos, and they said, well, if this is how the royal family is, maybe Harry and Meghan were trying to escape them. Maybe we should be supporting their escape. But what people don't realize is Meghan and Harry have been involved with it too. They're no different, no better. They're all strange. Every one of them are weird. Speaking of money and strange, I'm going to share this with you really fast. I had no idea that Meghan idolized Kim K. She's totally obsessed with Kim Kardashian, and I never knew this until recently. Now, allegedly, she went to Kim Kardashian several years back and said, Look, how do I get notoriety? How do I gain fame? I want to go broader. I want to do something more than suits and commercials. But people need to know who I am. How do I get out there? Now, we all know how Kim Kardashian became famous. In the event you don't know, just Google it. Google it. I'm being told the advice was this. You go about it this way, but you need to make sure the timing is just right. And remember, good attention, bad attention, it's all attention. If you play your cards right, you can become a household name. Everybody will know who you are. You have to set it all up. It needs to all fall like dominoes. And that's exactly what happened. Directly following the marriage of Harry and Meghan, this adult movie broker received an anonymous phone call from a lady in Canada. And she told him, Hey, look, I know where this video is, and I can tell you how you can get your hands on it. And it stars a duchess. The next thing we know, this movie is all over the internet. Starring the Duchess, of course. She never expected the royal family to go into overdrive, damage control, as they did. The royal family had their PR people try to claim it was AI. I'm here to tell you it was not. It was the real deal. I'm being told she was banking on that, making her famous. And even more disgusting, Harry was totally on board. What won't she do for money and notoriety? I'll see you soon and we'll talk fast. Y'all stay safe and be blessed.